Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this video is going to be about Johnny Fuller's bodybuilding workout. Like I said, you know, I I'm going to be on here a little bit more often uh, for this new year. I'm going to try to upload videos once a week. I want to thank you for all the people that subscribe to my channel. Uh, but basically, um, the reason why I'm doing all this is just to keep me motivated, to keep me engaged, to keep you guys engaged. I like putting out uh, bodybuilding content uh, just because of the fact that, you know, I am a bodybuilder, you know, um, even though I have to get supremely leaner to really see my physique, you know, kind of bust out. But, you know, I, I really want to, you know, inspire you guys to um, to really just reach for the moon and reach for the stars with some of these videos. Um, you know, like I said in my last video, you know, you, you know what you have to do in order to lose weight, to get in shape, um, all those different things. So uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about Johnny Fuller. He's not really a well-known bodybuilder. A lot of people know about Arno, Franco Colombo, Sergio Olivia, guys like that, you know, who, Frank Zane, you know, guys that, you know, really mainstream bodybuilding, you know, in the golden era of bodybuilding. But this guy, Frank, uh, let's see, Johnny Fuller, uh, he, uh, he really was uh, not a well-known bodybuilder. So some some of, uh, you know, Nick Strength and Power, shout out to him, did a video on him maybe about five years ago. Uh, and that's the last video that I've seen on YouTube really talking about this guy. Uh, he was something else, you know. Um, so uh, it says uh, on the website, neckbird.com, and I'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, it says, Johnny Fuller was renowned for his peak vascularity, muscle density, and rock hard conditioning he brought to the stage. Even more known than worthy was he was able to pack on 220 quality pounds on his 5 foot 6 inch frame. Um, it says, highly popular in America, Johnny trained for a short time in California with legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger and Franco Colombo. He didn't limit his talents to bodybuilding. He was a professional boxer and earned a karate black belt. So this guy was Jamaican, um, and he was he was a beast. Um you know, uh, it says he was born in uh, he was born in Jamaica in 1942. Johnny moved to England in 1970. He competed all he competed all over the world in the 1970s and 1980s and tried both the European and World Amateur Bodybuilding Championship. Further began his professional bodybuilding career after winning the lightweight heavyweight division of the 1980 IFBB Amateur World Championship. So he placed pretty well in these championships um, for. Uh, amateur bodybuilding. I think he got his IFBB Pro probably around in the 80s, uh, sometime around there. Um, uh, he continued on to complete in four Miss Olympia events where, where his best showing was eighth in 1981 and 1983. In 1981, 1982, further completed in 16 pro contests and never placed out of the top five. His final contest was the 1987 World Pro Championships where he placed out of the top 10. Johnny Fuller, a star of the 80s, who took physical conditioning to a higher level, died in 2006 after a long fight battle with leukemia. So, you know, the guy was pretty healthy. Um, the reason why I, I, I really want to bring this bodybuilder up is because of his conditioning. His conditioning was, was very paramount. We're going to get into his program right now, but in a minute. But um, his conditioning was something that I, I have never seen in a bodybuilder. I've, I've lifted... For many years, I've done Arnold's Blueprint. I've done The Rock's workout. I've done, you know, The Rock's not a bodybuilder. He's kind of like an actor, just does bodybuilding workouts. Um, I've done um, just many different forms of bodybuilding. And this guy's conditioning is on a whole different level um, from what I've seen. And uh, so let's, let's get into his workout. Um, basically, you're doing 10 sets of 32. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. 10 sets of 32. 10 sets of 32 means that you're not really going super heavy. I did this workout today and I only got to like the third, I only had like an hour, hour and a half in the gym and I got to the third uh, exercise. So, you know, and I, you know, but my chest hurts. So it's not, it's not complete failure. It's like, it's like you're going complete failure in mostly all your sets. And sometimes you're gonna have to break these sets up. But it's 10 sets of 32, um, 10 sets of 32. And he said, uh, there are no rules of bodybuilding. Johnny Fuller is, is proving that statement correct. So this guy, that's why his conditioning was so good. If you look at it, I'll put a, I'll put a thumbnail of him up. But 
uh, his conditioning was paramount to his success as a bodybuilder, right? When you're conditioning, you're conditioning the muscle because a lot of times, you know, people, they see Arnold, they want to get Arnold's chest and stuff like that. You want to get, you want to have vascularity. That's what helped Frank Zane win the, uh, I believe it's the 1976, 77, and 78 uh, Mr. Olympia. I was watching wrestling, so I almost said the Royal Rumble. But nonetheless, um, so let, let's get into this guy's program. Um, so it said Monday is chest. So your first one is bench press, 10 sets of 32. Then the second one is dumbbell bench press, 10 sets of 32. Incline bench press, 10 sets of 32. Incline dumbbell bench press, 10 sets of 32. Flat bench dumbbell flies, 10 sets of 32. Incline dumbbell flies, 10 sets of 32. So that's five exercises in just that one thing. So I think I did over 700 reps this morning on my chest and it hurts. So you're not going super heavy, right? You're not, you know, I tried to do that. You know, I tried to throw like 135 on the bench press and do that for 10 sets, 32. That's, that's a lot, right? It's a lot on your body. It's a lot of stress. I wasn't trying to get injured. So I reduced it to like 25s and I was able to, you know, push through that. Tuesday, you have T, uh, you have back. So you have T bar row, 10 sets of 32, high angle cable pull-ins. I don't know what those are. I tried to look them up, but I think they're, they're just these things or maybe these, you know, the cable pull-ins, uh, 10 sets of 32, low angle cable pull-ins, 10 sets of 32, one arm rowing with dumbbell, 10 sets of 32, bent over rowing, 10 sets of 32, chins, 10 sets of 32. I don't know what chins are. I think they're just chin-ups. I don't know if this guy was able to do 10 sets of 32 at 10 shows. If he was able to do that, that's incredible. Wednesday. Uh, so these are probably a little bit more of some that you're going to recognize. Uh, press behind the net, 10 sets of 32. Dumbbell press, 10 sets of 32. Upright roll, 10 sets of 32. Floor cable laterals, 10 sets of 32. So you're going from the floor, you're going up like that. Thursday, thighs and triceps. Leg presses, 10 sets of 32. Leg extensions. Leg curl squats, hack squats, press downs, lying barbell extensions, lying dumbbell extensions, all are 10 sets of 32. And then Friday is biceps, barbell curls, Scott curls, incline curls, concentration curls. And then on Saturday and Sunday, this guy ran three miles. So he got his cardio in on the weekends. So I would say for anybody that wants to try this regimen, do it in periodization. You don't want to get injured. You don't want to tear your pec. You don't want to tear your bicep. You don't want to tear your tricep. Just do it in, in increments, right? No your limits right there are limits there are there is a such i don't care what ct fletcher says there's there is a such thing as overtraining um i've experienced it i've been injured uh and it's not fun so you know ct fletcher is my guy but sometimes he'll say some crazy stuff so uh that's pretty much the video guys that's pretty much his workout so i'll put a link in the description about uh his workout uh if you guys want to do it um yeah, he, he lived a powerful life. He was a boxer. He only went like 3 and 12 in boxing. Uh, but the conditioning on this guy, once you see this guy and how his body was, that's why it was the golden era of bodybuilding back in the 70s and 80s because everybody wanted to to be this guy. Everybody wanted to be, you know, Arnold. Everybody wanted to, you know, get on stage and just be that. You know, you didn't have, you know, guys doing – I mean, they were doing – performing enhancing drugs but they weren't um it wasn't as as crazy as it is today so uh I'll, if you if you guys like more bodybuilding videos let me know i'll post more um i'm not necessarily trying to become a nick strength and power uh maybe one day i'll show off my physique once i get my body right but right now it's not where it needs to be so uh this video is under 10 minutes like like i wanted to do so all right, guys, that's all that I have. Uh, thank you, and uh, have a good day. Take care.